Okay, today we're going to be talking about uh, adding a pocket watch pocket to a pair of lederhosen. This is a pair that I have that, uh, as you can see, I have my uh, watch chain here and up until now I've just been kind of carrying my, my watch in my front pocket. It's less than ideal. Uh, usually I've got other things to go in that front pocket and uh, it also happens to be where you slap the layer hose and you, you hit that watch a lot of times. Um, a better place for the watch is actually tucked in right here behind the waistband. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to sew a pocket right here for the watch. And uh, we're going to do that with some elk skin. Later hosen themselves are made out of elk, rothirsch, which is a uh, red deer, but it's misnomer. It's actually an elk. And uh, this is a little bit thicker probably than what the uh, later hosen are made out of. But I have some scraps of this. So we're going to use this. Uh, it's a little difficult to sew, but we're going to sew it by hand. And uh, that should make a very durable watch pocket and uh, soft, comfortable um, leather to wear. So we'll go ahead and get set up and, and get started here. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark out a piece of leather that's roughly 10 centimeters by 18 centimeters. And uh, that's basically sized to fit a standard pocket watch with a little bit of extra room. And so we'll lay this on here. Okay, there's 10. And this is a piece of chalk, it's just a little piece of uh, sidewalk chalk. I like to use chalk. You can use a ballpoint pen, it actually works pretty well, but it's permanent. The chalk, it rubs off after a while and you don't see those lines. Okay, next measurement. Let's, let's do this here, 18. Doesn't have to be super exact, but put the, uh, the watch on there so you can see. This is going to be folded in half, and so you can see that uh, that watch will fit in there comfortably. Okay, so now that we've got that marked out, time to cut it out, and I. I'm going to use a rotary cutter here. These come in different sizes. They're pretty handy. They go pretty quick. You can also use a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife. Um, but I find that this is pretty handy. Underneath this leather, I've got a rubber rubber board, so I'm not cutting into the table. And underneath that is actually a, uh, another mat. It doesn't need to be there right now. It's just kind of a handy place to have it. Okay. There we have it. So a piece of leather that we'll be working with. Let's 
set this other leather aside there. You know, the decision comes. This is uh, this is not suited on both sides. It's suited on one side. I could fold it up this way and have the the smooth side out. I can fold it up this way, have the rough side out. And uh, I think what I'm going to do actually is I will have the smooth side out. Just like this. It's not going to go exactly in half. I'm going to leave this down a little bit. And what we're going to do is we'll sew this side shut, we'll sew this side shut, and this side, the top will get sewed to the actual waistband of the later hosen, which leaves an opening right there for the watch to go into. I think the next thing we're going to do is mark out a corner radius here. Uh, I don't want it necessarily to be completely rectangular, so at the bottom here I think I'm going to round that a little bit, and uh, I think that will just make it sit a little better and uh, be a little less bulky. I'm just going to kind of mark around this uh, piece of plastic that I happen to have. Get a nice radius on it. And then we will take, uh, we'll use a pair of scissors this part since it's a little bit thick. I do have a, a larger wheel rotary cutter somewhere. Uh, I didn't bring it with me. Those are scraps. You can see we've rounded the corners a little bit. 